You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. On a Tuesday night in September, the halftime whistle has just blown in Wimbledon's game with Portsmouth in the Papa John's Trophy. As Portsmouth's seven substitutes head down the tunnel, Wimbledon's seven subs sprint over to the far side of the pitch. Immediately, running and passing drills begin. They are overseen by a new coach called Sammy Lander. But who is he? Well, Lander is football's first known specialist substitutes coach. For the next 15 minutes, the Wimbledon players are involved in collective and individual training at high intensity. It is 11 and a half minutes before Portsmouth substitutes re-emerge, and when they do, it's just to go through familiar, listless routines. Now, it's 2-2 when Wimbledon head coach Mark Robinson sends on his first sub, Henry Lawrence. It's the 57th minute. In minute 70, two more home replacements are introduced, Jack Rudoni and Luke McCormick. By the end of the game, Lawrence will have won a penalty, which is converted, and McCormick has also scored to make a breathless game 5-3. Later, Lander will put the contributions of those subs into a chart on his laptop. It tracks goals and assists from players who didn't start games across League One. Wimbledon are top by some way. Now, Wimbledon have employed Lander on a part-time trial basis since the beginning of the season. He is only 25, has never played football professionally, and is blind in his right eye from a serious car crash when he was a boy. We call them finishers, not substitutes, he says. My job is to make sure that they are as prepared as possible to go on and impact the game in all ways. Physically, mentally, socially, technically, tactically. It's about making players who hear that they're not starting say, OK, I'm going to come on and bring energy and drive. That's so important. It's about treating a substitute as a starter. Now, it helps that head coach Mark Robinson is a 55-year-old open to innovation. It isn't about wanting to be different. I've been a sub feeling sorry for myself. Sammy broke it down mentally. The player is not a sub, he's a finisher. He has specific warm-ups. It's a way of thinking which, for Lander, began at Weymouth during COVID-19. He had been coaching and doing some analysis for four years when he suddenly found himself on the subs bench. We'd furloughed a few players and we had injuries, he told The Athletic. I was a coach, and before one game we had another player call in to say he had COVID. And despite his lack of playing credentials, Lander found his way onto the pitch. It gets to the 89th minute, our striker goes down, the gaffer turned to me and said, are you ready to go on? And I said, no, nowhere near ready. That experience was informative. Today, Lander has a particular way of looking at the area, and it begins with making sure the players are as prepared as possible to go on. I have a chart here showing impact time, the period it takes for a player to impact a game. He explains further. This came from Weymouth when a player was sent on late at 0-0 and it finished 0-0. He came off and said to me that he didn't do anything. I said, well, you've had seven minutes. You've not really touched a ball or warmed up properly. It made me think. So now, if we're nil-nil, we can say this player needs 20 minutes to impact a game. Half-time becomes crucial. You have 15 minutes of uninterrupted ball time on a pitch. The subs stay out with me, get touches of the ball, can practice diagonals, and they enjoy it. Lots of players' warm-ups aren't that good compared to the starters. Their warm-up is intense. For some reason, there's not that perception with subs. When players come on, they have to run, sprint, get to high speeds, and that comes from being warm. Sometimes we'll look at players and say, well, he's not warmed up properly, and the GPS stats will confirm that. The GPS can monitor the warm-up. Encouragingly, he says he's not met resistance from any player, but every new idea encounters some hesitation. If I'm being completely honest, remembers Wimbledon assistant Rob Tuve, I'm thinking, substitute coach? How does that work? It takes you back a little bit, but he was quickly won around. We met with Sammy, he did a presentation, and it just made sense. The stats he showed us from last season told us that we could make marginal gains from it, and in sport, you have to look at that. What Sammy has done is give demotivated players a purpose, and so they remain connected with the game. Coming to find what you're looking for, Tifo Merge. Put it on your body and drink out of it. Mm.
the grasslands of Australia To the peaks and plains of Antarctica And through the rivers of North America Comes a shop of merch that is so damn cool That it's really, 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 really cool So cool you have to buy all the merchandise Buy the merchandise Come and buy all our merchandise Merchandise Looky right here, there's merchandise But the merchandise Gotta get your hands on the merchandise If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalised experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.